Okay, boxing fans, right now I'm talking about Darren Hamilton versus Steve Williams. This is my prediction. Starting with Hamilton, he is the champion, the 140 pound British champion. He has 12 wins, three of which by way of knockout, to two defeats, only one of which by way of stoppage. And that's a 14 fight record. Williams, he has 13 fights. Oh, sorry, 13 wins, five of which by way of knockout, to a single defeat by way of stoppage and that's also 14 fights in fact this is actually a really 50-50 fight it's going to be a great fight for the title great fight actually to be on the undercard of this of the David Price fight and you know both these guys are really tough competitors if you look at Hamilton he's won his title from Ashley Theophane he outpointed Theophane quite decently there wasn't much in the fight to be honest it wasn't a great fight to watch but Hamilton got the victory he got a few more punches in all the exchanges and he just looked the better person coming in at less than what was it three weeks notice maybe a week's notice I don't know and um, he also had a TKO victory over Peter McDonough which don't come around very often he's quite a good fighter uh, Williams he's got a loss to Lenny Dawes which isn't too bad Lenny Dawes is a very good domestic prospect or well fighter not prospect uh, he's got a very good victory over Carl Place which was an upset and he also has won a title over Michael Grant. That was the English title. Looking at the attributes of these guys. Uh, power. Neither of these guys are one-punch knockout killers. They both have less than a 50% KO ratio. Which suggests this could go the distance. But when you look at their styles. You see their styles will match up perfectly. And this will be an absolute battle. You know, I'm gonna if I have to edge someone in power, I'm gonna say Williams because all of his KOs have come early, which means he is dangerous early and he's got a very decent finishing ability in a domestic scene. If you look at his fight against Carl Place, at some point in the second round he did see that he hair Carl Place and he jumped on him and he literally took him apart. He left him pretty much unconscious on his feet, unfortunately for Carl Place. Can he come back? I'm pretty sure he can, yeah. He's a young lad. You know, it was just he was set in the ring against such a good opponent in Williams too early in his career. Boxing ability, you know I'm gonna start with Steve Williams. He's a very good boxer puncher. He can apply good pressure to his opponents. He forces them on the back foot. He he does have a decent jab. He likes to work the right hook off the jab. He's got a good punch arsenal and likes to dig in the body shots also. He's a good domestic level fighter. Can he go for the domestic level? It, it depends to be seen. If he puts a few good victories together, then yeah, I suppose he can. Uh, looking at Hamilton, he also brings good pressure. He brings a good variety of shots and also a nice amount of combinations to the fight. He's got good stamina. I never say die attitude. And he's fought the better opposition, slightly. He's also gained, they both gained good victories actually when they were expected to lose. So this really is, like I said, a 50 50 fight. Their styles will match up, and it'll be a great fight to what for the fans to watch. <coughs> but who am I going to pick for this fight? Personally, I'm going to pick Darren Hamilton just to shade the decision. But I wouldn't be surprised if Williams won a decision because this fight like I said it, it could be a great fight for the fans to watch it really is a 50-50 fight uh, it's hard to predict really but I'm going to say Hamilton to win the decision